the Alabama legend, one of the greatest to ever have a chance to play in Tuscaloosa, Lee Roy Jordan. How are you, my friend? Welcome into the game in Tuscaloosa. I'm doing great, Brian. How are you today, man? Good, good. You know, we, we can feel that uh, you're back in Tuscaloosa now. We can feel the energy that you brought from Texas here. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of pulling in out here to some friends' home and uh, – we're getting ready for the game this weekend. No doubt. You going to fire up the crowd on Saturday as you uh, make way out there as the honorary captain? I mean, are you going to uh, fire them up like you did back in the early 60s with those great performances? <laughs> no, I, I'm just going to uh, encourage them to do what they've been doing, and that's improve every week. And uh, I think if we continue to do that, we're going to have an outstanding football team. No doubt. And, uh, Leroy, we, we do want to spend a little time. And living in that state of Texas, uh, beating the Aggies uh, was a great performance from the defensive side of the football. It was a historic day. I'd just like to get it, the per, your your opinion from your perspective uh, there against the game against the Aggies last weekend. Well, I think it was a terrific uh, performance. Uh, you know, getting the pressure and getting some hits on the quarterback uh, early in the game really paid off in the second half. Uh, when he started throwing some balls downfield, it's, uh, you know, we're not right on target. So, uh, you know, and that's, that's always helps when you can get uh, a number of hits in the first first quarter, first half on the, on the quarterback. It, it really helps your turnover ratio. No doubt. We're talking to Leroy Jordan, who is going to be a part of uh, the festivities this weekend, uh, being selected to represent the University of Alabama as an honorary captain. You look at Alabama history, uh, certainly someone who preserves Alabama history is the Bryant Museum. And we, you know, we've got a great university. Uh, Leroy Jordan's going to be signing uh, autographs there Saturday morning, 10 until 11. Uh, so I definitely want to invite you to the Bryant Museum. And they do a great job of preserving our history. And it's very unique to have them on campus. Leroy Jordan's going to be there 10 until 11 on Saturday morning. Uh, you got your fingers stretched out, Leroy, for all those autographs? Oh, yeah, I got my, you know, pen out and uh, fingers ready to go. No doubt, no <laughs> doubt. Uh, Leroy, I, I want to spend a little time, um, and I, I went back and I was doing some research on that 1961 team, and you and I have spoke about that multiple times. Uh, but I want to talk about, you know, the, the rushing team. Uh, did you know 1.7 yards is all you guys gave up per rush on the opponents? That's throughout the season. Now, this team right here in Tuscaloosa – uh, 2.44, 22 total points from 1961. We all know that, but I was looking back at the rushing average yard per rush was 1.7. That was a great rushing defense, and I think this one in Tuscaloosa is very special as well currently. Well, I, I do too, and uh, we're, we're playing extremely well, and, uh, you know, I, I'm just so excited about watching this team play and watch the – uh, the enthusiasm they have every time they go out on the field uh, as a defensive football team, and they they uh, are really committed to getting the job done and uh, doing it well every 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 play. You know, Leroy, I, I want to spend a little time talking about the third Saturday of October. Uh, this one's a special one. It was a special one for Coach Bryant. I know it was special as a player for you, Alabama and Tennessee. What does that game mean to you uh, from a player perspective? Well, I, I think it came across to us and from Coach Bryant that you didn't have a, ch a chance to win a championship if you didn't w win the Tennessee game. It was kind of the uh, the middle of the season game. It was so important, and you had to win it to have a shot at those other teams uh, later in the season. So, uh, if you didn't win that game, you did not have a chance of winning the conference or uh, being in the playoffs uh, for the championship. Lever, one, one other thing that I'd like to continue talking about is uh, the interceptions. We talked about the pick sixes and the interceptions. You mentioned that a couple of minutes ago. But talk about the responsibility when you've got a defense and they're able to get a turnover, but it looked like they set up that wall as far as the, the down the, the sidelines. When they were able to run those touchdowns back, I mean, that's a lot of coaching to not only get the interception, but then to be able to turn around and be a blocker uh, – I mean, it, it was like they were free for the end zone, and, and that's why you saw yeah. a lot of those uh, yardage on the interception returns. It was truly, uh, you know, we, we emphasize that uh, uh, turnaround all the time once uh, once we have a, a, 
a fumble or interception and uh, wanting everybody get in position so we can make a big, even bigger play out of you know. Uh, it's a big play when you make a turnover, but when you turn it around and uh, not only score, but you just bring it back with good yard and you give us good field position, that's a really strong thing for your team to to be able to do on defense. Is there a Tennessee game that sticks out in your mind, a game that maybe you had a good game, uh, maybe that uh, just sticks out to you going back to Alabama and Tennessee games? Well, they uh, – no, I, I don't have one particular one. We we had some terrific games, and we had real battles with Tennessee, uh, uh, you know, those 60, 61, 62 years. Uh, so, you know, we it was a, a great opportunity to have a, a, a chance to play Tennessee in the uh, third week of October because it prepared you for what you're going to deal with the rest of the season. I mean, you had to be ready to – to win that football game, or you were not going to win uh, games after that. How about I read you the stat line from 1961? 34 to 3, Alabama defeated Tennessee. They had 23 yards rushing, they had 38 yards passing. Not a bad performance from the defensive side of the football. <laughs> well, no, it wasn't. I, I tell you what, that defensive football team we had that year was unbelievable. We had the linemen were. I mean, they were terrific, and uh, Billy Neighbors and Charlie Pell and uh, Jimmy Sharp, Jimmy Wilson, uh, Bill uh, Battle, and uh, Richard Williamson. Uh, you know, all those guys just did a great job of uh, controlling the run and controlling the blockers and giving us linebackers the chance to make a lot of tackles. I made a promise to one of my callers last week when we talk with you, as we do here every other week on a Thursday, Leroy Jordan, presented by Leroy Jordan Lumber Company uh, there in Texas and serving throughout the Southeast. Leroy Jordan, the honorary captain uh, this weekend for the University of Alabama. Someone called just a couple of minutes after our conversation last week, and they said the next time you have Leroy on, I've asked you about multiple times about this game, but they said they'd love to hear the story about 31 tackles. What motivated you so hard? And I mean, I don't know if you were drinking Gatorade or, or the water, but 31 <laughs> tackles. I mean, that that's a lot for a lot of players for a season, but 31 in a game is pretty amazing. Well, Coach uh, Brian had emphasized, uh, you know, all week long, or maybe we had two weeks to get ready for the bowl game back then. But, uh, you know, the Oklahoma team was an outstanding football team and uh, had great running backs, uh, great tailback and a great fullback and and overall just a great football team and he had emphasized uh, for for those two weeks that how we had to be at the very top of our game and uh, you know and when President Kennedy came down uh, he was kind of you know uh, hooked up with the uh, uh, Oklahoma team with Bud Wilkinson and everything and uh uh, he came down and went by the uh, uh, Oklahoma team's uh, dressing room and kind of gave them a little inspirational talk. And uh, Coach Bryant certainly brought it to our attention before the game that uh, the president didn't come over here to say anything to you guys. Uh, why don't y'all, you know, make a statement here that he'll come looking for us after the game? So uh, we did, and we, we played extremely well in that game and uh, just was very, very fortunate to. Uh, you know, I got a lot of credit for it, but we had some great defensive linemen that uh, that uh, took up two blocks to give me a chance to make tackles that uh, that uh, you know I otherwise would not have made. But uh, you know, thirty-one tackles is it's uh, it's kind of awesome. But uh, and I, I get to reflect on it uh, quite often during the bowl season. No doubt, no doubt, and uh, I guess he he knew the name Leroy Jordan after the president walked out of that stadium uh, after 31 tackles, but uh, Leroy, it's an honor to have you part of our show and, and to be able to talk to you every couple of weeks. I just want to get you back on to talk about the uh, honorary captain at the University of Alabama, uh, promote the signing 10 until 11 p.m. at the Bryant Museum, and I said earlier, we are very blessed to have a, a Bryant Museum where you walk through and you know, it's one thing to have history, to be able to archive it, to be able to walk through and show it off. Uh, pretty amazing what the Bryant Museum's able to do. And Leroy Jordan's a big part of the Alabama history. 10 until 11 on Saturday morning, the honorary captain for the Alabama-Tennessee game, 
the 98th meeting of Alabama and Tennessee on Saturday afternoon. Leroy Jordan is going to lead the team out and uh, to be able to, uh, to go out for those honorary captain responsibilities. Leroy, thanks so much for spending a couple of minutes with me, and I hope you enjoy your time in Tuscaloosa this weekend. Ryan, it's going to be a fun fun weekend. You know, we just got to continue the uh, road we're on and uh, continue our improvement on offense and defense and kicking games. You know, we got to, you know, eliminate a few little turnovers that we uh, still nagging us a little bit, and, but we got to get it to where uh, we certainly uh, eliminate those mistakes. And I think we're on the road.